All right, looks like the bank game is about to uh, begin. Odo, if you got the live feed going. Hold away, sir. Okay. He doesn't want to speak. He doesn't want people to hear his voice. Okay, so uh, we're here at the week four, first game of the weekend. This is iLogic versus AOA. Should be an interesting game. Just the team lineup to give you a quick uh, heads up. Uh, on the iLogic team, they brought Dream, Gar, Otacon, and RZB. So it looks like they brought uh, two pretty heavy starters at any rate. Dream is a fairly exceptional player. Uh, for the red team, they've got Drew, Dark Evil, Osicity, and Berserk. Um, Launchpad, I know, was trying to get in. Uh, but it doesn't look like he's uh, in the server at this point in time. I've got Night Guest commentating here. My name is Pitch Black Ipi, as I'm sure you all know. And we're starting the game. It looks like AOA is making their first big push. Uh, just took out Otacon and pushing Razorback back. Knight, you're here with me. What do you think is going to be the outcome of the game before we see any of the uh, real action? Uh, I gotta say, I think it's going to be upset. I'm disappointed that uh, Ominous didn't show up. I think this game's gonna be a lot closer than I logic hoped for. Well, it certainly looks like that's uh, the way the game is starting. Uh, Osicity, Dark Evil have pushed through the top. Uh, Berserk and Drew have been able to push them back, so they're almost at the flag run right now. And Drew is making some uh, amazing moves. Mind you, he is. He is smoke trying to hold RZB back down there. So yeah, you know what? I would have to agree with you. I think there's going to be uh, some interesting play here. I don't think they have enough to get a flag run off on this one. No. Right but they have certainly showed a, a lot more right aggressive nature than the iLogic team at this point in time. It's, it's especially dangerous if uh, LP shows up. Uh, yeah, if Launchpad actually gets himself in, then it would be extremely dangerous. Now, who else do we have? Yeah, you know, iLogic really doesn't have anybody else to spec in. Uh, they've got Atreyu, um, but when it looks like this lineup, uh, I don't think Atreyu holds much of a candle to anyone on this line. Yeah, there's also Darth Vader, but even then, I think he's not quite ready. Uh, with Razorback and Otacon. Is this a fresh change? I didn't check that. Um, I did not double check. Is Darth Vader actually a fresh change in the iLogic lineup? No, he's been here for a couple of weeks. He's been on the line for a couple of weeks. He just never shows up. Alright. Somebody's telling me that, uh... Hologram is telling me that Amon was on this morning, but Rage quit. That does not seem like Amon, so um, I'm reluctant to buy into that theory <laughs> until I get some confirmation from uh, from either the iLogic team or Amon himself. Dream but it. Way for a possible solo run. I don't know with this team uh, team lineup if a solo run is really going to uh, to work out well for him. No, I think he's. he's yeah, he's well confident to take on Osicity right without a problem. Although Osicity did get the uh, the better hand. Deo has a pretty good position right now. They just gotta be careful that DE doesn't get uh, spawned on in the back. Yeah, so Red is taking their first flag run. Uh, Dark Evil has it. Looks like he's he's debating on going top or middle or uh, or lower. RZB just spawned, so he made the choice to go low, or to go mid, I should say. Which is a good point. It actually looks like they have most of this team blocked down. I think Osicity really should have died by this point in time, so he could get a respawn, but that's my unprofessional opinion. Drew is, uh, is attempting to hold Gar back. And Gar's leg just got the better of. Flag dropped. Yeah, it's up to Berserk now. 
White flag flag dropped by red team. Nice rape there. Flag dropped. So Otacon has uh, slipped in behind and been able to capture the flag green dropped. flag. Um, couple of people smoked Hero Sicity Berserk. Uh, Dark Evil just got hurt. White flag captured by green team. You know, this could be a little bit of an upset if they don't get a good spawn here. Yeah. Uh, iLogic has just been able to take them out and bring out two of their flags. So very, very poor timing on the desk there. What's that? I was just saying, Drew just got called back there with Gar. You know, you should have just kept on going. Yeah. Well, I know we talk about strategic use of dying a lot now, um, and and it looks like that could have been one of those situations where, you know, a, a simple death from one of the smoked biologic members would allow him to spawn back full health and maybe get the jump on blocking a flag run. Are you talking about AOA members? Uh, yes, AOA members, I should say, sorry. Yeah. White flag return. Yeah, they just don't have the the momentum to pick that out. So first goal at six minutes and thirty seconds in, we have iLogic taking a flag run. Looks like Launchpad is going in for DE, so he's made it now. Let's see if this changes the tide. Now, I know they were doing pretty well to begin with. A little bit of a mistake. I mean, iLogic definitely showed a lot of patience there. Um, made the right play to, to pull the flag out, put a little bit of pressure, and they were able to take that back. With Launchpad in now, who knows what's going to happen. Yeah, I especially uh, predict that AOA will make a bigger push. You know, Launchpad is one of their better players, so... Yeah, absolutely. And I know they were expecting Launchpad to be starting this game, um, but I guess he was having a little bit of trouble with his computer. We're in the middle of a two-minute timeout, by the way, at this point in time. Um, so yeah, Launchpad is, has finally looked like he's gotten his computer issues all set up and is ready to jump in this game and play. Green a bit more defensive now, now that I have a 1 0 lead. But I still think, I'm still going to go with it, I think AOA will pull it out. Uh, green can, can attempt to be as offensive as they want, um, however, you're still looking at red having the advantage on the, uh, on the attacking end, are we not? Yeah, no, I said, um, no, red jersey has a better chance in defending. Uh, even though that's been limited now a little bit. But I still think, even regardless of color choice, I would expect green to play a little more passive now. They just don't have enough of a fragging power with Vazerback and Otacon. Yeah, I definitely, uh, I definitely see what you mean. Well, we're gonna see how the game plays out. Here we are, uh, after that timeout. And Berserk is debating on where to go. Well, they were a little bit slow on the spawns there. Oh, Sissity just caught uh, Gar making a few mistakes. Yeah, that's very ungar like he's, uh, he's making a bunch of tactical mistakes, being very, very aggressive early on. Oh, look at that. Did, were you watching Drew and Osicity? Yeah, that's a really good rape there. <laughs> that was a beautiful rape. Two bounties almost at simultaneous times. I logic getting pushed again. Yeah. Launchpad's in a bad, bad place right now.
Well, he needs to just stay back there and cover back up for his team. He's trying to keep Otacon occupied. Well, Sissity is actually a, he's surprising me in terms of how well he's doing right now. Yeah, I agree. But they are... Drew and Osicity are both smoked, so... Look at that. Yeah, that was a beautiful rape. Osicity and Drew. No, no, no. What are we looking at, uh... Osis, he uh, had a bunch of spread by Gar. I mean, I saw it coming, that's why I was like, no. Well, they definitely didn't have the, uh the power to make a flag rush anyway, um, especially with Launchpad smoked up at the top and uh, Otacon easily able to hold him back. Now, from what you understand, let's get a little into the uh, the details of certain players. From what you understand of Launchpad, what is his style? Uh, he's easily the hardest player for me to kill on AOA. And it's not the dodging, it's not the shooting, it's just being smart. You know, he knows how to position some, himself very well, and he knows how to rape very well. He makes his teammates a lot better. And it's the quality you just don't see in stats, really. It's, it's just something you gotta know when you play against the player. Gotcha. Well, my logic is now making their own push. With Otacon and Dream holding down the uh, the lower end, Otacon is smoked. And they're still trying to push into the base. Now Launchpad's going to go and try and save Osicity here. And does a great job. Now a death like that, you have to say, is, is really not a bad thing. Although that death was awful. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Um, but I mean, when when Launchpad came in originally and attempted to save Osicity from that uh, that double green rape, uh, he was easily able to destroy RZB by getting position on him, which you know allowed an opportunity for Osicity to spawn obviously sooner and back with full health. So you got to think that that type of a death is is not exactly the the worst that you want. Launchpad looks like he's lagging out here. So that's dangerous. White flag captured by green team. Alright, so Dark Evil has now been forced to sub in for uh, Launchpad, and that's just very, very bad timing because Gar is in the middle of a flag run as Launchpad's getting out. No, I definitely agree. They really need a good outside spawn right now. Does not does not look like it's going to help them anyway. I don't know, they can push low and get in front. Well, they can, but Razorback is definitely holding it, uh, no, Berserk. holding it off. See, what they should have done was Berserk and DE should have kept going and all the way around. They could have made it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it looks like they're uh, they're going to be successful in this flag run as well. This is Whoa. unfortunate. Flag to Not base. yet. Oh. oh. White flag captured by red team. Nah, they've flag dropped. They've got some opportunity to to stall here, but it I don't think it's gonna really flag help. Flag captured by red team. Flag dropped. No. Drew dying sort of iced it. Right. Now Osicity's the only White one sitting there holding team. it back. White flag captured by green team. Yeah, you can't do much here. No. And you know it, you look at the events of this game so far, and it's that second flag run. The first flag run, absolutely, 
had a lot to do with, you know, positioning, power, and iLogic's ability to make the right play at the right time. Um, the second flag run, kind of close, but very, very bad luck with the spawns, um, and exceptionally bad luck with Launchpad uh, pinging out. He is not happy, not happy at all. He's, uh, he's threatening to murder his internet service provider. But it's, I would be too! Yeah, no doubt. You know, it's just simple. AOA is losing a game that I think right now they're playing better in. I agree. You know, it's like the old Pro-Line commercials. Anything can happen, anyone can win. Yep. At the end of the day, it's just a win and loss that matter, so... AOA needs to get their things together. Well, you know what? Luckily, there is still about uh, 25 minutes left in the game. Uh, so if they can hold it out, they should be able to come back. Now, DE still hasn't subbed out. Launchpad's been back in for about a minute and a half now. Uh, but it has not jumped back onto the red team. So I guess he is having some ISP problems. Um, doesn't really want to step in and, and cause any more upsets like that. It's a tough yeah, choice. If you remember at the beginning, uh, the first cap, they didn't have launch pad and they still pushed uh, logic around pretty much. Right. So I wouldn't put it past them to keep this lineup going. Well, I know before the game began, um, DE was playing in a pub and he was mentioning that he was just not playing uh, very well. So we'll uh, we'll see how he can replace launch pad. Osicity is up uh, in the back of the green base, but he's definitely going to need backup here. He's going up against Gar. He's got no backup coming. Red's doing the smart thing. They're going to just clear out the base. Lift the Red. White flag captured by green team. Maybe in that case, it's probably not a bad idea to keep Gar busy. While the cleanup base. By red team. White That's true. To red base. Now you know it's it's nice that um, the launch pad is still able to. Oh, he's actually left the game already. Uh, so that's unfortunate. I was going to yeah, say one of the. Yeah, one of the things that, uh, you know, AOA has to its advantage and, and has had in a previous game, as was mentioned by DE, is Launchpad's ability to strategize. Um, you clearly mentioned his intelligent play, uh, his ability to make the right moves at, uh, at good times. And he can do that even while sitting on the sidelines for his team. Yeah, I don't know. Um... I don't think he's really dictating how the formations are going. I think he's just the player that you want around for the rapes and for, you know, signaling and everything like that. I don't think he can really help you that much on spectator, really. Well, I know, um, I know Dark Evil made a clear point of mentioning it in, in one of the games, how, you know, it certainly helped to have Launchpad as a, a little bug in the ear, uh, suggesting, hey, you know, do this die now and a lot of these players who have developed that high level of experience knowing when's the best time to die when's the best time to send a solo flag run um, are able to pass on certain amounts of that knowledge uh, to their teammates if they're spectating in the game and I think Launchpad has done that in the past for DE uh, and I assume for the rest of his team as well now well, Dark Evil is right. attempting Flag captured by Go ahead. Team. No, so maybe you're right. I hadn't heard of that, but that would make sense. He's pretty experienced. Dark Evil is making a run here. Flag dropped. A solo run, which is interesting. He team. might just make it out. I don't know if he'll make yeah, it far, but enough. Uh, he's holding them really well. I think he needs to drop the flag and do some dying or dodging. Either one would have worked. Captured by red team. Well, I mean, they still may pull it off. 
Oh, and True just drops a nade on Dream's head. That was beautiful. There's a lot of clutches and chokes going on in this game. It's pretty interesting to watch. Absolutely. True is so successful at uh, at his game. He's right and he's gonna pick that up. He's got this. Yep. Awesome, awesome job. So we're about 18 minutes and 20 seconds into the game. Drew has been on this flag run, uh, picked it up off of Dark Evil, and he's taken it all the way home. Um, all it's going to take is Osicity to really hold back uh, Otacon down here, and DE has the top. Yeah, it's going to over. Yeah, that's beautiful. So this hopefully will give AOA the momentum that they need after those little upsets, and this could be turning into a very close game. Yeah, you know, like we said originally, AOA has the firepower to do it. You know, it's just a bunch of bad mistakes or bad luck, and now that they've turned that around, they're back up a cap. Absolutely. All right, so starting the uh, the fourth part of the game with 19 minutes or so. 20 more minutes left. It's uh, still lots of time to shake things up. No, as long as they don't get uh, get cocky here. Otacon and Gar are just pushing pushing hard into the uh, the base here. Drew has almost no choice to but to stay there. Drew is confident in his uh, two on one skills. Well, he's got them both smoked, but it didn't help. Dream took uh, took advantage of that. You know, RZB was a little bit light on the raping there. It, it didn't look like he was doing too much. It was interesting to watch. Now, DE is looking like he's going to push into the green base. He's going to go for a solo flag run. It's not really a solo run. Look at three green are dead. They're going to stop him. Touche. Touche. otacon has got a deep base spawn, and Gar is going to be able to hold DE out here. Oh man! Who took that missile? Drew. Ow. We still haven't killed him yet. Berserk got the kill on uh, on Dream. Thank God for that. Yeah, I know. Drew is trying to get Berserk a kill. And then eat a missile because he's just trying to dodge. Well, Dark Watch Evil's out, gone, Osicity's gone. Oh, nice missile from Drew. Yeah, but I don't think they'll come out of this alive. No, I I don't think so. Every little bit, though, holds off the uh, the timer, though, for them. Yeah, it'd be smart not to kill Otacon. Right it now. would. Well, 22 minutes, uh, 20 seconds into the game. See, if I was D Dark Evil, I would have just backed up and let them come in our base and hope that Top would uh, go in flag. But he went ahead and killed Otacon.
Yeah, Dream is not the kind of person that Dark Evil wants to just let roam around in the base to get that flag out. So he's going to stick around there, and we'll go back to the action over in the green base. One flag captured by green team. So Drew and Berserk are making a nice push here. Berserk did a nice job of uh, nading to get him into the area. So Dream took out Dark Evil, now Drew has to pull back, which jeopardizes their own personal flag run. Yeah, that was kind of disappointing. Berserk's coming down with uh, Osicity to try and rape. Watch out, Otacon's coming as well to kill Drew. And that did not work for them. White flag captured by red team. Yeah, Drew is smart there. He's not gonna like. Uh, he took the damage to get the job done as fast as possible. Twenty-four minutes have passed. Um, the game is sort of at a standstill right now. AO is trying to make a push, and uh, Logic is trying to make some fl uh, solo flag runs happen. So it's kind of interesting to see both sides. Yeah. Well, I am I am definitely rooting for AOA to uh, to take a little bit more of a step forward. Well, for uh, the league, this has an implication for the fourth place for the playoff tournament. It does, yeah. Both of these teams are are aiming for that spot, so it should you know speak volumes for the standings. Now, mind you, we are only in week four, so the standings are, you know, still very much up in the air at the moment. Oh, I know. But when you play against an opponent that, that's both going for the spot, you know, the game counts twice as much. You get a win and a loss. Yeah. White flag captured by green team. Alright, Osicity and DE are going to be able to help hold off uh, this flag run right now. Berserk is going to get raped, it looks like. Yeah, he's got three converged on him. He needs to do as much damage as he can, though. Flag dropped. I think Eo has this. Berserk did his job, he's sucking all the three players and let the other three AOAs come on the outside to rape. Good point, good point. Never looked at it from that perspective. Now we've got uh, RZB coming up along behind. Don't forget the flag. I don't think they will. White flag captured by a lot of times, team uh, go in for the rape, and somebody from outside just goes ahead and picks up the flag and go, keeps on going. I've seen it happen numerous times. So, white flag returned to red base. Alright, almost 27 minutes into the game, 13 minutes left. Let's see if AOA can tie it up here. Oh, the server is lagging. Alright, so we've got a lag out of the server, which is extremely unfortunate. Well, it is lucky that it wasn't during a flag run. So at least we won't have any protests happening on that end. Right, well, I mean, there's, there's really not much you can do in terms of, uh, of a server lag out. Alright, so I'm starting up this recording again. Um, we are 
just back from a server crash. Uh, so we jumped back into this new server. Uh, there is 13 minutes left in the game. The timer was actually at uh, about 26 minutes, uh, 58 seconds anyway. Uh, so that gives us 13 minutes left in the game. Shave off a couple of seconds just for posterity. Uh, the game has begun. Now, AOA had made it to the middle. Uh, there was no flag run going on. So it's actually it's a, a good point to restart the game as Knight was making, uh, making us aware. A little bit of a difference, though. We are now in the Texas server, which is going to change lags up a little bit. So people are going to have to adapt to that. Now, I always find that I have to adapt a little bit to a server change in terms of both how I lag and how other players lag that I'm used to. Uh, what do you think that's going to do to the game? Uh, I think Gar is the player that everyone's watching for lag. Uh, but I usually don't really need to modify my you know, lag shooting at all between Texas and Chicago. Now, if you have Wisconsin or something else, then yeah, I'll give you that. But... Personally, I know other people have problems with Texas. I really don't have that much problem with it, so. Right. Well, it it depends on who it is, right? Yeah, definitely. Alright, so Sicity and Dark Evil are pulling through up top. They're pretty See, well held. He's backed up. I'm sorry, I'm not to interrupt you or anything, but we made a smart move. He smoked, and he didn't want a sneaky flag run, so he backed all the way up to the outside spawn. There you go. That. Yeah, Drew and Berserk were smoked there, so it doesn't look like there was much uh, that they're going to be able to do. Oh! Not that it's going to help him too much, but that was awesome. Yeah. It would have been beneficial if you left him smoke, but he just killed them all in one go. Now, Berserk should definitely die here, but not in the dream. Berserk is literally hit to kill. Yeah, but if he kills Otacon, then they might make a push. Uh, he did get the kill. And they do have good position here. But yeah, between, you know, it's one thing that Omin and I always talk about, and, and I respect this guy because he's just so well knowledgeable about the game. Um, he's always going on about whether or not they have enough health to make a flag push. And we're even talking about the, the higher caliber teams like CADF. Um, when it comes to a mid-tier team like AOA, again, it, it almost increases the need to have a higher amount of health when making a flag push. So he would, in this situation, I think, say Osicity really should not be staying alive. See, I would disagree. I would say in a lower level skill, you would probably not need that much higher health. Because I think with specials against lower level players and, and their tendency to go after smokers by rushing, you can exploit that and gain HP all the time, even when you're smoked. Against higher level players, that's very difficult to do because they're not going to, you know, fight on on special unloads and uh, smokers. Right. White flag captured by red no, team. That's an interesting White point. White flag returned to green base. All right, DE tried to um, tried to make a little run here. White flag returned to red base. Ah, oh, Berserk just took a missile. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Drew got the kill, but he's still smoked. Hey, Odo, this is sort of like off-topic, but I've been told that uh, the stream is not running. That's not off-topic at all.
Alright then, must be them. I just, uh, throw out a quick alert about it. Now I am catching all of this on FRAP, so it's it's not that big of a deal. But uh, the FRAP's version won't be up until maybe Monday, Tuesday. Alright, so there's only about seven and a half minutes left in this game, so AOA really needs to, uh, to pull something together here if they're going to have a chance at at least tying. I don't know that there's enough time to win. Especially not with uh, iLogic pushing deep into their base. Otacon's going on a flag run right now. Yeah, but so is Berserk. Captured by green team. Right. Flag dropped. D needs to come big here. He can't die against him. Alright, Drew and Osisvi are able to hold that off. Yeah, DE's just been paying, playing not so hot this game. Red team. White flag captured by red team. Flag dropped. I always found it that it's easier to dream if you play more noobishly, like more aggressive and right to the point. Uh, I feel like DDE plays really passive and I think Dream just eats him that way. I know this because it happens to me too quite a bit. Right. Well, Berserk is attempting to hold his own here. Tried to slide out and took a missile. White flag returned to the base. So about five and a bit minutes left in this. Five and a half now. DE is going to get raped. Yeah, he just shared the damage there. I don't know, Aira needs something to happen. Obviously, our logic's in defense. So unless our logic penetrates and Aira gets like an outside spawn, I don't see any, any clear way unless they outfrag him. Right. Look at Osis, he's trying to go for it. Not sure if it's gonna work. It's interesting to watch though. Until a nade takes him out. Captured by red team. White flag returned to red base. Well, they still have plenty of time. They just need, you know, play solid spark, and they'll get their chance, I think. Well, there's actually only four minutes left, so... Right. So, no need to, like, just go all out rush right now. I think they have one solid go-ahead at it. Like, these three that are low, I think if they just keep going... I, I think Drew is suggesting to Berserk, why the heck are you, you know, following us and go low? Yeah, no, I see that. That's smart. Leave out time. What would be ideal is this outside spawn right Watch here. Flag. Aero would love that. Team. Flag dropped. And Berserk holding off Gar. Red team. Berserk should go. That's perfect. He should. White flag captured by green team. DE, I don't know what he's gonna do up here. 
I'll try for hard constant. Flag dropped. Flag dropped. That's a terrible eat. White flag captured by green team. White flag captured by red team. Drew coming to the rescue flag as dropped. much as he can. So Otacon smoked, Dream is smoked, RZB is smoked. They might have a run here if uh, they don't make some stupid mistakes. Well, watch out for outside spawns. Exactly. Berserk should be up top there with DE holding off that spawn point. Yeah, he's not doing it though. He leaves Drew and DE both smoked to do it, and now Otacon's go. got his spawn. If Berserk was there, I think that would have sealed it. Absolutely. Oh wait, Austin's awesome. smoke too now. Drew is having an easy time holding Otacon back on this spawn point. He is locking himself into a tight spawn. Right flag captured by red team. Now this is almost exactly what we saw in this first Osis flag run. Osis cannot die him. here. Either that or he needs to die right now. Oh, there you go. Now D needs to back up right now. He's in a bad right spot. Flag captured by green team. Drew can kill Razor back, he'll have a shot. Team. But he needs that kill. And he needs it quick. It's only like a minute left. A minute, ten seconds. One Table minute total. Table spawn for DE. And I think this is it. Yep. Well, that's the game, folks. Uh, that's exactly the same thing that happened on that first flag run. That was just a poor job holding on to that flag and uh, and bringing it back pretty much at the same time as they were taking it out. All right, well, excellent game. Very entertaining. Uh, Knight, thank you very much for joining us on the uh, in-game commentary, and we'll be doing the post-game broadcast. See you there.